Greetings once again, it is Galadon from the clan Lost Phoenix, and this is episode 25 of the Clash of Clans attack series. Alright, today we're going to do things a little bit differently. We'll go show some attack replays, but from time to time I'm going to freeze the frame and go into a little more detail about what I would call critical tips to winning battles. Now I don't claim to have all the answers, and this definitely isn't an all-inclusive list, and sometimes I don't even follow my own best advice, but here we go. The first tip is probably the most obvious, activate the king and the queen, something I try to do pretty much every attack unless I'm feeling supremely confident. It's always better to get them out of the way early, just so that you don't have that unknown factor of when they will find you during an attack and where. And it could lead to a loss, as it has for me recently, and uh, that's something I will actually share in an upcoming episode. And here I've had some trouble trying to get the Queen's attention. Several units have gone in from the left and the right there, and they just can't quite get deep enough to get her attention. So I went ahead and just started the attack anyway. I've got the king's attention and uh, hopefully the queen will come up here towards the top pretty soon as this attack begins here with a golem, some wizards trying to get the uh, king to focus on the golem then the wizards to go in and take him out and eventually here comes the queen and if you look closely you'll notice that the king and the queen are going for troops in order the golem first then the wizards and then the archers and that's the order that they were deployed in you need to take that into account when you're trying to decide what you want to use to distract and what you want to use to do damage. Again, not perfectly executed here as the queen is still alive. And here's a tip I learned the hard way in this video replay. Always watch out for those open spaces. A 2x2 two two space can be a giant bomb or a Tesla. In this case, a giant bomb and a trap right behind it. It's always good to send in a few tester troops first before sending in a full string of wall breakers. And here's an important tip to try to take some of the uh, uncertainty out of your attacks. If you can clear those surrounding buildings, you'll always have a good idea of where your troops are headed. Now here the queen is out a little bit to the right there, but because there's no other buildings out there, we're sure she's going to head in towards the center and follow the king. And that leads us to the next tip that involves a sharp eye, that is watching where those inferno towers are focused and using the free spells only when they're on your king or your queen. And this is probably one of the most critical tips in the game in my opinion, and that is those rage spells have to be placed accurately and strategically. A poorly placed rage spell can mean the difference between a win and a loss. Next, always watch out for those clan castle troops. You either need to try to pull them out early, like a lot of hog attackers do, or do what I do, and that is use them as a magnet to focus your troops towards that town hall. Your troops are always going to go after those clan castle troops before they go after other defenses, as they do here. Now, in later attack videos and upcoming episodes, I'll be using lightning spells more often as I've just found it's a little bit safer when you know you can take them all out at once. And that leads us to our last tip, which is that skeletons can take some serious damage. As you can see here, they're going to end up tanking for the queen, absorbing all of that inferno power as the queen just sits there and destroys the town hall. She's inside of a well-placed rage spell within range of the town hall. There goes 50% and the town hall at the same time, wrapping up the first attack. It looks easy when it all comes together like that, but any one of those things going wrong can change the outcome for sure. Moving right along, here's the second attack replay. This one against Ray from the clan Quantum's Web. Must have been right after reset, as you can see that neither one of us have a shield yet or a badge. And a very familiar base design I like to call the spider. No, don't all you entomologists send me messages about how many legs a spider has. And this attack will just show you how different every single attack can be, even if I'm trying to use a similar strategy. Drop the CC golem first, and this time a bunch of wizards are going to take out the king and the queen a little more efficiently this time. 
but not before the queen turns and starts wiping out a bunch of my wizards, but she will eventually go down, as will the king, with the help of the uh, skeletons from those witches there. Now the remaining units from that first attack start to head towards the middle, and now I'm going to send out my next wave at the bottom here with a golem, followed by a few wizards, trying to clear out those structures at the bottom, sending in the wall breakers, hoping to get in through that center wall towards the town hall. Now definitely a bit sloppy on the attack here. I'm going to go ahead and drop the last golem, the remaining wizards, the king and the queen, and the wall breakers before those structures to the left were cleared, and that does tend to throw a bit of a wrinkle into things here. But the clan castle troops have come out and kind of drawn my troops together there. The wall breakers have opened up that wall, not the far interior wall, but you'll notice that the town hall is close enough to that interior wall that I don't think I'm going to need to breach that wall at all. In fact, here comes the queen. Inside that rage spell, she's got plenty of range to reach the town hall and just about five shots and it's gone. And that's the first star, but we're only at 42%, so I'm going to try to save the queen a little bit longer, drop a free spell on that inferno tower, give her enough time along with the king to get to 50, which they do. And uh, at this point, once again, I'm starting to think, okay, well, let's just try for three stars here. But as fate would have it, defenses are spread out just a little bit too much, too many walls to get through, not enough time. We're not going to quite get to 100%, but we will get close. The queen just didn't have enough health left there to get through the rest of the attack. I think had she survived, we definitely would have gotten that third star, but we got close. We'll focus on some three-star attack victories in the future, maybe borrowing from some of my clanmates' attack strategies. But in the meantime, you'll just have to settle for some of my mediocre two-star attacks. Speaking of which, here comes another one now. It's the infamous Rubik's Cube base. This one owned and operated by Arif SM of Indonesia 45 something. And as predictably as ever, I've tried to pull the king and the queen out kind of to my favorite area here, but I do have a reason for attacking from this angle. You see where the inferno towers are. If I line them up when I attack, then most likely only one will be focused on me at a time. And the clan castle is on the far side of the town hall. And yes, I am hoping to use those troops again as a magnet to draw me into the center. You'll notice that I'm not using that clear the left, clear the right, go down the middle strategy. Instead, just focusing on this corner here. And I'm counting on the fact that those clan castle troops are going to activate just at the right time to draw my king and queen in. And sure enough, here they come. Cue the dramatic music. Dropping that rage spell right in the middle of all of my troops, the queen, the wizards, the witches, all raging. The town hall doesn't stand a chance. It's just about to get vaporized. And dropping one more rage spell right in the center for the queen, just to make sure that we can get that 50% and the second star. Kind of got hopeful that I could shoot for three stars again here, but just not enough health left on the king and the queen. Too many walls to get through and it just wasn't in the cards. Too many defensive structures down there at the bottom. The queen goes down pretty quickly once she gets down to that area there. You can see there's just too many cannons, archer tower, wizard tower left to have any hope. And that's going to wrap up this episode of Clash of Clans Attacks. Just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you subscribers, those of you who like and comment on these videos, and especially those who have joined the Lost Phoenix family of clans. You guys are the reason I make these videos, and I appreciate your support. I'll be sure to come out with another episode soon. I'm always open to suggestions. Until next time, keep calm and clash on.